Greetings YouTube, this bargain video is going to start down here in the basement because I just got myself a Craftsman 5.5 5 horsepower peak wet dry vac, 16 gallon size for 10 bucks. I got it at a thrift shop. It works, it's got a new filter. I am going to have to probably get a step down because I have a fixture this here. This is not going to be the same diameter as that one, so I'm going to have to work out a step down so that it fits onto that that hose, but I can do that. I'm a clever lad. Um, and we have this Rubbermaid uh, tote, again for more organizing. Probably go end up going down there along with the gray tote I already have down there. I'd like to get the grinder into a container if I could, and I also have a sander kicking around. I'd like to put that into a box as well. Um, we have another Rubbermaid product. This is a, an or drawer organizer, which will go in one of these drawers. And two uh, stacking drawers. These are actually not attached. They're just designed to nest atop each other. And I got these for like a buck. And this was two bucks, I think. So it was really a solid, a solid deal. And that does fit in one of those drawers, so that'll help me get the drawer organized. Um, then we have this shallow steel bowl, which is going to become a, hopefully eventually become the boss on a shield. And I liked it because it's got this nice white lip. That way I can drill holes in it and uh, put rivets through it. So that'll work. Or screws, depends on what I attach it to. We have this, I believe, is from a telephone pole or something like that. It's got a very slight bend into it. I may be able to fix that. But I'm going to turn it into a mace. Um, we have these two precision clamps. These are very nice condition. Um, and I got these two clamps. This set of shears, um, this entire container of fasteners, along with this uh, cold chisel, and these spikes, which will end up in some kind of a, uh, a weapon build at some point, for 10 bucks, along with a knife that's upstairs. Um, I, I needed to look up the name on the knife. It's a Brooklyn knife manufacturer made in the USA. And I don't believe they're in business anymore, but I believe that they were in production for quite a while. And this is a combination of most of uh, nuts and bolts and some washers. Um, so I figured I'd root through this and see what I can find that's useful. Because you never know when you're going to use something weird. I know I use the washers all the time for, for weapon builds. So yeah, so this is where the bargain video starts out. And quite frankly, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy. So we're still in the basement now. Some of you will recognize that as my old grinder. I say old grinder because I now own this grinder. This grinder is larger, it's in better shape, it's got a built-in bulb, a uh, light, and I need a bulb. Um, and it just hums like a charm. It also has these uh, rests, which the other one is missing. So I need to go upstairs and see if I can find a bulb. I don't know if I have any in the house or not. Um, I got that grinder and this tool here is some kind of an edger or a scraper. I'm not sure what the heck it's, what, what originally it was supposed to be. Um, but I'm going to take it and I am going to probably put a curve in here. A large... My goal is to give it kind of a scalpel shape. And I'm going to call it a scalpel. So I'm going to come right down here. Probably, I may even put a knock. I may even put a knock right there just for fun. And then start from there and go a nice curve. Nice curve all the way down. That's kind of what my goal is going to be, I think. Um, but I will get rid of that grinder. Give it away. I'm going to pay two bucks for it. Um, and uh, I will use this one. So I'm really quite happy with this one right here. This is very cool. He's just sitting, this guy who's selling this yard sale, he had so much stuff, man. He was trying to move stuff out. I felt bad for him. He had a number of things I would have purchased, um, but I just didn't have any more cash on me. So that, that was it. He got my last cash. I was down to a buck when I left his sale. Um, he had a luge for sale. A luge. How, many, how often have you ever in your entire life used a luge? Yeah, me neither. Greetings YouTube, time for another video, a bargain video rather, and I apologize, you're probably going to get two of these in one week because I forgot I had one 
in the can, so I didn't post it last week, so I'm going to post two this week. Sorry about that. Um, I have so many videos, sometimes I have a hard, tra hard time keeping track of them. Uh, here we go. We have a book on Adobe architecture, which is both the construction methods and classical floor plans, which I find fascinating. Uh, we have a book on interviewing, its principles and methods. This is for my wife. She does interviews, and she gives interviews. Um, the Jewelers Bench Reference, um, and two other jewelry books, Creative Casting and Jewelry Making. I have done some very simple jewelry making in the past, and I would like to do some more. I found all three of these at a thrift shop. So somebody got rid of some stuff, so it's going to go into my reference library. Here we have the fourth volume of the Saga comic. Um, my wife has one and two, so she needs to get three. I found this at a flea market, so you, you got to buy it when you find it, you know. Then we have the Eyewitness Handbook of Gemstones, um, which I picked up from my therapist to put in his waiting room for the kids to look at. Um, then we have two... I haven't opened these yet. They're cards of some variety. These appear to be in Chinese. They are from Wizards of the Coast, so I don't know what the heck they are. I haven't opened them yet, so I'll find, I'll find out. Um, we have Natural Law, or Don't Put a Rubber on Your Willy, which is apparently some kind of libertarian track. I will probably regret for reading that, but I'm going to. Um, then we have the Moose... Moosewood Restaurant celebrates festival meals for holidays and special occasions. My wife is a fan of the Moosewood books. Um, we have the Three Billy Goat Gruff, which I got for my wife because it had really nice woodcuts. We have the Doomsday Survival Handbook, a bucket list of every uh, for every conceivable apocalypse. We have the Artificial River, which is about the great uh, about the Erie Canal and its construction. Um, and we have the fantasy uh, characters book from Dragon Art. I got that both because I find that kind of thing kind of interesting and also as an inspiration for role-playing games. I'll probably be doing a review of that at some point. Then we have the Power Tool Know-How book from Sears Craftsman. I picked that up at a Buy the Pound place, so I paid 10 cents a pound. So like maybe, you know, nothing for that. A couple pennies. We have the Monty Python Speaks. Um, and we have Weekends at Bellevue, uh, nine years on the night shift at a psych uh, at the psych ER, which should be entertaining and interesting, but probably also somewhat depressing. On to DVDs. We have the Amazing Adventure with Cary Grant. I'm a Cary Grant fan. We have the uh, Silver Lining Playbook. Never seen it. I've heard it's good. I've heard. I saw something about this, The History Boys. It was originally a play, and then it became a film. I heard some good buzz on that, so I picked it up and I found it for a dollar. Um, we have The Vampire's Assistant, which I actually was very impressed with. My wife was as well. I'm going to have to do a full review on that one. Prince of Persia, not impressed by this. So it's historically inaccurate. And even though it's a fantasy film, it mixed up so many different eras and time periods and cultures, and it was horrible. Um, the War Wagon uh, with John Wayne um, and, of course, Kurt Russell. Um, we have High Risk. A film I found at a flea market, um, James Brolin, Anthony Quinn, Lindsay Wagner, and James Coburn. And I'm like, well, that, that could be interesting. So I'll give it a look. Pain and Gain with The Rock. Um, the Inspector General with Danny Kay. Legally Blonde 2. I, I watched the first one. I found it entertaining, but I didn't find it the moving experience that some people did. Um, and I think I may have to do a review of that if I haven't. From Dusk Till Dawn, the Collector's Series. I want. I got that strictly for the commentary track, though it's a fun film. Hansel and Gretel. I haven't seen this one. Um, I didn't like their take on witches, but I still thought it might be interesting. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. This one's just absurd. Expendables 2. The first one was horribly more misogynistic and racist, but it still made me smile on certain scenes. So I'm going to see the second one. Uh, we have Tin Man, which is a retelling of the story of um, The Wizard of Oz. The Secret of Secret of Rowan Inish, a uh, film recommended to me to by a good friend. We have Dwayne Johnson in um, Hercules. I actually thought this was quite good. I was very entertained by this. And there was another Hercules movie that came out before that. About the same time period, it was horrible. <laughs> Capote, um, G.I. Joe Retaliation. It was 
it was dumb. <laughs> okay, it was it was just dumb. Beastly, a retelling of the Beating the Beast story. Um, Prometheus, I haven't gotten around to see Prometheus yet, and now I can. Um, Orange County, a film I've never seen, but I am a kind of a Jack Black fan, and I was kind of a mood for a comedy. Then we have a documentary, um, Chop Saki from the International Film Channel, um, which is supposed to be talking about some very well-known martial artists and their um, experiences with the Hong Kong action film um, industry. And now we come to a bit of eclectic stuff. We have a butter dish, which is from a set my wife has a great fondness for. I believe I was the person that had the original piece, and then she's been picking up pieces over the years. So that's the butter dish in that set. We found that at a reasonable price in an antique shop. We have a set of bells. We have a brass Buddha, uh, Far East, Far East Buddha, kind of like a Chinese era, probably. Or actually, maybe maybe it could be Thai. I'm not positive, but it's designed for incense. You put incense cones under there. We have a horse brass, which I like because it had a scythe on it. That was quite nice, and I have a fondness for brass. We have a laughing Buddha head. I don't know where this was made, but it's ceramic, it's handmade, has a really nice angular shape and everything, and I really quite like the design. I picked that up at a flea market. We have a small star, which needs to be um, cleaned rather badly. I've got to get this sticker off of it. Um, but I like stars and I like glass. We have this bell, which is somewhat large. It's probably going to go on my porch. I already have a hook for it. We have a stylized owl, hand carved, out of a, a tree limb. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah, they did a really nice job of exposing the grain on that. Um, we have this tile, which is from an, an artist in England, in Suffolk. Um, so it's hand painted. That tile itself is just commercial, but it was hand painted on top of that. It's got also it's got a nice texture. Besides the, uh, the the art itself, it's got actually you can actually feel the the paint, the, the glaze differences. And we have this, which um, I believe it's a Korean equestrian badge or award or something. I saw one of these at I saw, I saw something similar to this at another flea market where it was one horse. And it would definitely it was it was labeled in English Korea, so I suspect this is also Korean, though I don't know the significance of there being five horses. So we've got there knows what this is or reads Korean and can tell me what that says. Um, that would be really cool because I don't have a clue what that what that is. It, 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 it kind of could be Korean, it kind of could be Chinese. I just don't know. I freely admit that my understanding of many Asian languages is limited. Then we have a knife, and this is was made in Brooklyn, New York for the Marlene Company. And I have been able to find diddly on this online, but it's a nice shape and it's a made in the USA. And it's it's not from a, it's a from company, it's no longer in existence. But I, uh, I'd like to know more about this. So anybody out there knows more about that, tell me. Um, then we have a couple of figures. We have this really cool orc type warrior on a dinosaur. Is that cool or what? And then we have a, a Ben 10 figure, which has butterfly wings, which fold, which I thought was very cool. Um, I have a fondness for some of these Ben 10 figures. They're just very well executed. We have a pair of Lyman's pliers, which I need to clean up, and a crafting knife, um, which uh, will be going down to the basement. Then we have a solar charger, and this was originally designed for a tree stand, probably, you know, an archery tree stand. So it's 100% waterproof and everything. So I'll maybe actually plug that in and see if I can get some use out of it. Maybe put it outside of, of uh, a window so I can get uh, get some power to something. Just why not, you know? It was really inexpensive. Um, we have a Energizer. Energizer? Yeah, Energizer flashlight. And this is a light wave flashlight. For some strange reason, somebody put duct tape on it. i got to clean that off. But Lightweight is actually a good brand, and it's fully functional. Um, and these are not cheap, so I was quite pleased to find that. Um, and we have these 10 um, support brackets. I own a house, and I use support brackets, and I make brackets out of things. So I picked these up for 7 bucks. There's 10 of them. That's a good price. And two of them are heavy-duty, and the others are, are thinner. So it was a good price for the, 
for the lot. I know I'll find use for them for either the house or just my weapons projects. Um, then we have this bind up uh, uh, magazine holder, which I use for soft cover books and such. And we have this um, Gap shirt for my wife. Funny thing is, is that I got this from someone we know, we uh, an acquaintance of ours. We we used to she used to work at a good grocery store we we frequent, and I didn't know it was her. And I handed the money to her, and I'm like, oh, I know you. Um, so now my wife owns one of her shirts, which is a little weird. Okay, one more section. Actually, I'm, before I forget, this chair is a bargain. We got it on sale. Uh, I forgot to put it in the last couple of videos because it's just in the background. But it's uh, we got a new chair, and it's got uh, towels wrapped on this on the arms because I really don't like the t feeling of plastic against my skin. Um, but it's quite comfortable, and it's in much better shape than my last chair. My last chair, the repair I made for it, function but eventually it began to wear out so I'm like well let's just get rid of it and get a new chair so we did uh, interesting thing I put the chair out in the street and someone took it so I hope they get more use out of it because I was tired of it one more section as I've mentioned in the past my wife is a beer fan and we picked up this kit at a yard sale for seven bucks so she's gonna have her give a try at actually brewing her own beer so that'd be cool we have this um, hacksaw which I quite liked it's a really sturdy design. It's solid. This is all very solid aluminum. This is padded. It's quite comfortable for your, your offhand when your primary hand is using here. Um, I picked this up for five bucks at a thrift shop. And it's got a, this, this actually, this actually locks in place, but it don't need tools to change your blade. And of course you can set the blade at numerous angles and they actually have angle designations at the end here. I don't quite like it. It's probably going to go down in my basement. And we have this toolbox. I'm going to put a toolbox together for a friend of mine. Um, and it's just a standard toolbox. I need to clean it. Uh, but I picked it up for three bucks in the yard sale. And uh, it's got metal loops on it for closing. Um, and she needs, she's been looking for a set of tools. So I'm going to start building her a set of tools for a Yule gift. Um, now I just present the whole thing to her. Um, and she does appreciate tools. In fact, one year I gave her a machete for Christmas. Um, so there you go, folks. This has been our bargain videos. I hope that you have found them interesting because I, I did enjoy acquiring them.